Hello everybody, today is uh, Friday the 13th of August and I have started with um, my project with those pillows because it doesn't let me be in peace even though I'm not looking forward to doing it. Uh, I already cut apart one of my tank shirts. Um, they started with being 11 by 11 squares and ended up 11 by 12 or something but I want to make a seam anyway and then fold it over so I might adjust the size then and maybe make a little cardboard helper and I have my little iron here it's tiny and uh, maybe that helps me too and right now I have opened this pillow a bit more and I'm going to take the stuffing out I hope that hole is big enough because I don't want to you can see it's a it's a fabric it's a thick thick thingy and then there's a fabric on the outside and I don't want everything to um, divide or fall apart. So I try to keep most of the original sewing intact. And I'm taking out the stuffing. I got the stuffing all out and put it in those bags and um, did get the air out a bit. And here's the empty pillow thingy, which is still quite thick. And now before I cut that apart, I thought I might just uh, sew right over it and leave a gap open. And then I cut it somehow like that. So I don't have to, to do it all fresh. And this has kind of already got a foil. <laughs> I will sew it here, uh, two lines next to each other so I can cut it apart in the middle of them. If I can do that. <laughs> And then maybe maybe two small ones and a bigger one. Something like that. Now I need to get the search.
was quite fun to do that. Um, I started with this one and I just took that length. So I had the guidance from here and made the first line. I did leave um, a gap open to fill it later. And then I just went uh, one uh, foot wide uh, left to it and did the same thing. So this is the stuffing part. And therefore here I had to do two solid lines. And uh, so this is the smallest and that's the biggest. And this is something in between. And now I will have to cut it open here in between. And then I guess I go over it with a, a cross zigzag stitch over the edges and uh, well, that's nearly like overlock then. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to do that because the, the it just goes straight. It's awesome. <laughs> Here are my three pillows stuffed and ready to be sewn together. Um, this is more like a neck roll. And I do hope that one of those will work for me because I have troubles with finding a good pillow. And I'm having lunch. I have had uh, already had... Um, I've already had a tomato braid with um, mayo for breakfast. And this is now the rest of the tomato. And it shares um, this thing with the cervela, which is a Swiss national sausage and uh, goes well with mayo. So, ta-da! Today is um, Saturday the 14th of August. And uh, I did stuff the pillows yesterday. I just didn't get to film anymore. So they're here. Um, I was very happy at first to sew the, the bag together before I stuffed it. And then uh, sewing that together was very hard. So I did one by hand and uh, went over it by hand again because it's so stuffed that it didn't fit onto the machine anymore. Uh, I have a third one, but I've already used it to sleep on. It's quite all right. Um, and I'm about to do that patchwork thingy. And um, I don't do precise. Uh, this started out as 11 by 11 squares. They're now kind of 11-ish by 12. This is how I want to put that. Um, it's going to be a flap that goes over it. So that's going to stay white. So I don't need um, more of that there. And I thought I had more colors of those uh, um, tank shirts. But I don't. Um, and um, not so precise today with my motor skills um, in my hands so it's going to be quite hard and I thought I could just overlap it somehow then I don't care about my crooked edges or just sew them on next to each other and try to make it about the same height so I don't know how that turns out not looking forward to that step <laughs> here is a little update um, it was very annoying to do that I did start over here with uh, those rows and then it was very as more like this so I did those um, other rows across to make the fabric flatter again and then way later I did the next row which was also very annoying but I don't want to do those rows because I don't like that I like like this and now I figured I have fabric glue and I just glued those on and then sewed them on a bit and now those are glued um, and now I let them dry a bit longer because my machine got a bit sticky and it's finished I am not so overwhelmed with it I am um, it's not even pretty colors <laughs> and uh, I still hope that it would look way nicer when it's finished even though it's unlikely but that's um, why I go on and um uh, not now because it's already 20 past 8 Saturday evening. I shouldn't make noise anymore. And I let this glue dry. And then I can sew it together and wash it. It stinks like old fabric. Or first I'll try it out. And, and then it's finished. And I won't do that again. It's, that was very annoying. <laughs> Today is Monday the 16th of August. And I spent all Sunday lying down because we had warm weather weather and the weather change leads to me not being well and um, so today I I'm going I have a lot of company here hi they were neglected yesterday because I couldn't do anything uh, so I, I sewed on the rest of the things 
And I want to show you what I plan with the, with the, how to put it on the pillow. And uh, yeah, I'll try. I just want to have a flap that goes over it. Um, therefore I need to put it the other way around. This is the outside edge. And um, I just roll my pillow in it once. I just show you the theory and then I do it for real. Like so. And then now I have that, that size and I take the pillow out and close that up like this. Just put that up and then sew to get the edges. And then it should be, this will be on the inside then, but it needs to be on the outside for sew sewing it together. Well, it will turn out nice. So I'm just doing that. Then I take the pillow out. This is way overlapping here, but this shape is not straight. So I just have to make this. Uh, I redid it, made it a bit straighter, but um, it, it is um, soft, so it will just adapt to the shape it will get. And yeah, I'm, I'm very unwell today too, so that's why it's very hard to move my mouth and form the words, and I'm very angry. And it worked. So here's the thingy. Here's the flap that goes in there. Kind of closes. The pattern works out. It's cool. And that's that. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.